Tell me about the worst sex you've ever had. When we're like just getting through it, she leans into my ear. And she asked me to crow. Did you do it? I, yes, <laughs> I crowed. <laughs> she asked him to crow. What's the worst sex you've ever had? Uh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Should I really have to describe it? The worst sex I've ever had. I don't know. There's a lot of experiences that I truly despise. In my phone, I have a little black book. There's a person in there that says the worst I've ever had. Everybody's answer is like when I lost their virginity. My first time. Probably the first time, actually. The first time? <laughs> I had no clue what was happening. There was a lot of jabbing. I'm going to have sex with your butt, and then you're going to have sex with my Hey, yo, come on. Come on, my. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. You got to warn me. You got to warn me. Okay? I might get canceled just for that little five seconds just right there. Excited and anxious. What's the worst sex you've ever had? Having sex. <laughs> I've always just thought of like, damn, that's an hour. Like, wish I was watching anime or something. <laughs> An hour. I've had bad sex. The sex is pretty fun. I don't really have bad sex. Did I hear you say you've never had bad sex? I don't think so. I'm pretty phenomenal, so you know, it's hard for me to have had bad sex. Do you think you've had bad sex? Because some people have been like, I don't have bad sex. Yeah, you know what? And a lot of people that do that definitely have a story out there. Because they might have been like, yeah, and then the person just hands on the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bed, like, I, yo, listen, let me tell you never something. Never <laughs> I've, I've handed out uh, plenty of whack dick in my time. I can admit it. I can admit it. I have handed out some some whack penis. You know what I'm saying? On on the numerous occasions. Yeah. It be like that sometimes, shit. <laughs> I had some really bad sex with one of my coworkers. The guy that I dated that was like my brother. I hate to say this, this was the only white guy I've ever been with. A man with a very large penis, he thought he could just kinda like lay there. I just have a large penis. I felt like we actually. Uh. Oh, Both. Didn't really want to be doing it. What's the worst sex you've ever had? The worst? Uh, mm. Worst sex I've ever had. I've never had sex. Mm -hmm. With my ex. With an ex. My ex. First husband. My second husband. What was bad about it? The rhythm. Ikea bed was just like moving the opposite way that he was. They were really, really bad at what they were trying to do and way too confident about it. Are you able to communicate that to them? Yeah, no, bad. at that point I just kind of wanted to get out of <laughs> You do what you see on porn, that's that's still not correct. You still gotta like pay attention to your partner. If you don't like warm me up to being interested and then you just stick it in and jackrabbit for like two minutes and then you're out, like what the hell did I get from that? I think it's been years ago and it was a guy who basically was a bunny rabbit. Men don't know how to fuck. What's uh, the most embarrassing thing? Finishing before your partner does is pretty embarrassing. Bust a little too quick, short and sweet. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Met this girl on Tinder. We're about to perform coitus, and she's like, "All right, like, do you have a condom?" And I said, "No, I don't have a condom. Um, do you like mind doing this, Rod?" She's like, "No, of course, like, whatever. Just make sure you pull out." And right as I inserted, I was like, "Yeah, no, I can't do it because I was about to bust." And I always think about that uh, probably every time I close my eyes. Whose fault was that? Hey, yo, I had that before. Oh my God, I had that before. This was in high school, bro. This was in high school. <sighs> Took this, this young lady to my aunt's house. We went to the basement. And, bro, as soon as, I, I don't even think I got a stroke in, bro. As soon as I put it in, I, I nutted, bro. That was so embarrassing. And then it was another time. It happened. It happened. It happened in college too. It happened in college too, bro. It was another time, son. Um, I took this joint down. I actually took her and her sister down. 
And like both times, yeah, both times, like I, I, I know they're quick as hell, dog. And when I tell the story, I just be like, yeah, it's something about that family. Yeah, it's something about that family. That family, you know what I'm saying? They blessed. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah, that, that has happened to me before. A lot of dudes not going to be honest. I'm going to be honest about it because just how I've handed out some, you know, some subpar uh, wood, shit, I've been out here, you know, I done built houses too. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Probably me, honestly. I was exhausted. You look like you can't fuck. From a long day of work and I fell asleep. During? During. After we, we hooked up, as he was leaving my place, he's like, maybe I'm not gay. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> out. Uh, there's not enough M&M's and pizza in the world to salve that wound, you know? What's the most embarrassed you've been? I went from a strong situation to a no-win situation. His penis went soft. I was on the verge of tears. That joint ain't want to come up, man. And every time he came up, I put it, I get it in for a little second, and he'll fall back down. How did they it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> we'll try to get next time. <laughs> High school. High school. It was probably high school. Yeah. High school in a car. He was super hot, drove a Mustang. Worst sex I've ever had. I felt like a dead fish, and he was just kind of like prouncing on me. You're young, you don't really fully know what you're you're doing. You just kind of thrust and you just call that good. What's the worst sex you've ever had? I farted in someone's face through the door, and she stopped, and I had to finish it myself. Once, I... Uh, let somebody peg me, it felt amazing. And as muscles do, it contracted and released. And I shit, okay? Shit is normal. I recently found out about the things called douches. Didn't know I had to do that. Let's just say she was oh, very unhealthy hey, yo. and did not take care of her body. Oh, she only took off her pants. It didn't smell too nice. It was a definite hygiene issue. Did you guys ever have sex again? I'm sorry, I know I'm pausing, but yo, hey yo. I ain't gonna tell a whole long story, bro. But basically, man, when I first came to school, I had met this girl, okay? But, you know, me and my me and my girlfriend, my wife now, we were together at the time. So, you know, I ain't never thinking nothing of it. I was just like, oh, she look good. Like, she's she's gorgeous. She had, like, hazel eyes. She had, like, golden brown skin. And she had, like, natural red hair. But she was black, okay? Golden brown skin. Anyway, fast forward about... Three years. I think three years after I moved to Atlanta, me and my wife broke up. Me and this girl, like, we struck up a conversation on the um on the shuttle, right? For school or whatever. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. She her her body's amazing. Like I can tell, you know what I'm saying? Cause she used to wear like these floral dresses and all that. Anyway, man, we struck up a conversation, um, and she ended up coming over. Like Three days later, she ended up coming over. But we was talking and shit like that. And she, like, I don't know. But it was something about me back then, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I must have looked really good because she was on it. And I wasn't expecting her to be on it. Like, I thought she, she you know, I thought she was bad. So anyway, she's like, hey, yo, I want to see you. I was like, all right, what you doing? She's like, I'm, I'm, I got school all day. But after class, I'm going to come over. I'm like, all right, cool. So she ended up coming over, bro. You know, one thing led to another. I promise you, something like when she took her little like thing off, I caught a whiff of something, right? I caught a whiff of them armpits, and I was like, "Damn, maybe I should like postpone it." You feel me? Cause in my mind, I'm like, "Ah, right, you know, she been in school all day." That's how I felt. Like she been in school all day. I can expect that, you know, she probably, you know what I mean? But I, it, but the savage in me, I'm like. But when are you going to get a chance to, to do this again, huh? When are you going to get a chance to do this again? I don't know. I was young and dumb, impatient. Bro, she took, like, she took her dress off. And my nigga. It, it, I, ain't, I ain't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go in too crazy. But anyway, bro, she took her dress off, bro. And, you know. She looked like a, a, I would say this, she looked like she should have been in a music video. You feel me? But anyway, man, stuff got to going or whatever. And then, 
you know, she got, she assumed the position, bro. And when she assumed the position, son, I promise you I caught a, I caught a whiff of some shit, dog. Fuck me up, bro. It messed my whole situation up, son. That shit smells so crazy. Like, it was armpits. Like, her armpits was musty and her pussy was musty. You feel me? And it messed me up. In my mind, I'm like, yo, you look way too good to be smelling like this. Like, yeah, I could take your armpits being musty, but your pussy musty too? Fuck, man. You feel me? But I still did it. <clears throat> Yeah. No. no. Nope. No, I told him it's like this ain't working. I, I don't know if I if I go to keep that was a little, a little awkward, yeah. That was terrible. I'm out of here. There was like no focus on anyone having a, you know, happy ending. Did you have sex with this person ever again? I think we did, yeah. I did. I dated them for a, a bit of time. I had to teach them. Let's just say they weren't a very good peer. <laughs> they weren't a very good student. What's the worst sex you've ever had? It was the first time I'd ever seen like a I don't know, like, the right way to say this. A micro penis? And, um, he wanted to top. I couldn't what? feel it, but I figured out that sex doesn't always hurt. What's the worst sex you ever had? Probably, like, a very sloppy, drunken sex, to be honest. I was drunk. I ended up throwing up in the bed oh. during, <laughs> so that kind of sucked. Maybe? Yes. Yes. Oh, so you believe in sex. <laughs> sex is a learning experience, okay? It takes a lot of practice. You know, you know that saying when Drake said, You wasn't with me shooting in the gym? You gotta do a lot of shooting in the gym before you can perfect it. That's why the best thing to do is be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? That person loves you. So they're gonna love you for your shortcomings and your longcomings. And your very shortcomings, okay? Yeah, man. Practice. I had a lot of practice, and I still was out here handing out uh, whack wood. Anyway, man, this is the video. I'm going to holler at y'all. Squad.